Hey, what's up guys? Tactrix Gaming here, and in today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating how you can get Nehemic 2 Plus uh, audio driver working for Windows 10. Uh, and this, this could work for Windows 8 or Windows 7, but if you have Windows 7 or Windows 8, then you really shouldn't have a problem with Nehemic 2 uh, not opening. So the very first thing we're going to want to make sure is that your real tech high definition audio drivers are up to date. And how we can do that is we'll head on over to our Chrome tab. We'll head on over to MSI's uh, website, but how I did to get to this exact page is, for, for me, in my case, I have a 970 Pro Carbon, so I would type in MSI 970 Pro Carbon, hit enter, and go to the website uh, thusly. And once you're here, uh, or for whichever motherboard you have that supports Nehemic 2, you're going to want to go to the support page. Um, and go to your driver and this is going to make sure that you have the most recent or uh, real tech driver uh, up to date so let's do onboard audio this was released September 11th um, I'm gonna go ahead and download that because I want to make sure mine is up to date as well and once you uh, ensure that that's up to date go on over to utility and this is where you're gonna find a Hemic 2 you click on utility come on you don't want to load let me go ahead and give it a quick refresh utility there we go. Alrighty, 164. And there we are, Nehemic 2. You can see this was also released on the 11th of September. You can go ahead and download that. I've already downloaded that right here. Um, I'm going to let this download, though, because I do want to make sure mine is updated. Um, and pretty much after that, it's just compatibility troubleshooting. So we're going to go ahead and right-click on Nehemic 2, go to Properties. All right, we're going to bring this to the center here for you guys. Click on Compatibility. Uh, it's up to you if you want to run the Compatibility Troubleshooter. Uh, just to save your time, it did not work for me. So, And this is what I did manually to ensure this program to work. So we're going to want to go ahead and run this program in Compatibility Mode for... I'm going to select uh, Windows 8 or Windows 7, but I'm going to do Windows 8 for the sake of the video. Um, you, can ch you can select any of these options if you choose to. Um, do note that running this program in 640 by 480 will change the native resolution uh, in your display settings, and it will make your desktop look wonky, so uh, I wouldn't recommend checking that off. But the only thing I have checked is running this program as administrator. And now once you have all those checked off, make sure you hit Apply and hit OK. So, the next thing you want to do is I'm going to make sure that it's not running. Okay, it is. You're going to want to go ahead and double-click that. I'm going to go ahead and exit, exit out of this just for the, the sake of the video. Alrighty. Double-click on this. Uh, hit Yes to run it as administrator. You're going to see that in your background tasks, it will appear as running. Uh, and now, the next thing you want to do is just double-click. Right, it's going to load. It may not be doing anything uh, in front of your face visually on the desktop, but I can guarantee you, if you head on over to your task manager, it is loading, and it is trying to work, uh, and there we go. Just like that, boom. You can see that Nehemic 2 has loaded up in Windows 10. And just to verify that I have Windows 10, let's go ahead and go to my control panel. And let's go to my system. Uh, where is my system? Right here. Cool. Windows 10. It is activated. Alrighty. So I am running Windows 10, and this is Nehemic working on Windows 10. Uh, all the sound effects do work. Let's go ahead and uh, change voice shaper. That's weird. More bass and treble. Voice leveler. You can even record audio and you even have a sound tracker for in-game. You can change uh, the points or the pinpoints of sound uh, where you want it to play from in-game out of your speakers. Now this is only supported through 5.1 and 7.1 as it says here, but I thought that was a pretty cool and neat feature. Uh, the other of which are these uh, enhancements for your audio. And the one I like the most is the reverb. And with reverb, you can change uh, how much you want of it, how much of the effect you want present. Uh, if you want it to be, sound like it's live in a theater or a studio. My favorite uh, was the theater because when I was watching movies uh, on Amazon Prime and uh, Netflix and I turned it to theater and uh, using my VR was just, it was a really nice uh, immersive experience. And that's something that uh, I do like uh, or one of the strengths of this program to be used for. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, go ahead and leave me a like. Uh, if you have anything that's uh, running into problems, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, I will do my best to respond to you uh, and uh, your concerns. Uh, if you didn't like the video, you know what to do. You can just like that. Uh, subscribe for more content. Uh, I will be doing more of these how-to tutorials later in the future. Uh, but as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.